a busy day down at Grimsby Town as two things happen. A new CEO is announced um, and they will take, uh, take, um, take the reins at the beginning of next season or the end of this season. Uh, we'll go into that as well and a departure from uh, Grimsby Town as well. One that for some reason has caused some real um, online unrest, I think. Uh, Alex Hunt has actually gone on loan. I will tell you in this video as to where and where I stand with it and what my opinion uh, on, um, on this is. And whether I think it's a good move, whether I think it's a bad move uh, and, and so on. So what we'll do... Uh, the first bit of news we're going to go into is the new CEO was announced this afternoon uh, by Grimsby Town Football Club and um, it's quite a good appointment actually. Um, uh, Polly Bancroft uh, is the new or will be the new CEO. Um, she has already or will be joining us from uh, Manchester United's um, head of women's football uh, and it's good to see another woman involved it's great uh, um, so she's got plenty of, of experience uh, in the football club um, uh, and she oversees the team's progress to the FA Cup final and qualification to the Champions League last season for Manchester United. Before joining United, Polly was women's team general manager at Brighton, director of the women's team at Nottingham Forest, and also held roles in UEFA and the FA. Um, uh, speaking on um, Polly's appointment, uh, Mariners chair Jason Stockwood said, we are absolutely thrilled uh, for Polly to be joining us. There was a tremendous amount of interest in the role to have someone of Polly's calibre and background join us. It's a real testament to how the club is now regarded. Um, we look forward to welcoming Polly and her family to the area and for her starting uh, once the WSL season has concluded. We'd also like to thank uh, Dave Simon and the team at EPP who helped us conduct the search. So, um, uh, Town's new CEO will oversee all aspects of the club, including the men's, women's, academy teams and commercial activities. Uh, Adam Smith will continue in his role as interim CEO until the end of the season. And we'll put back and and revert back, not revert back, revert back to secretary uh, once Polly takes on her new position. Um, and I would like to send, uh, first of all, my congratulations to Polly and welcome to the club Polly at the end of the season when she takes over from, of course, um, the departed Demi Cook. And hopefully, uh, hopefully this... Uh, this appointment works out. I'm, I'm intrigued as to what, you, you know, what she's going to be able to bring to the role. And um, uh, the board and, 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 and chair seem very enthusiastic about this. So we'll see how it goes. So welcome to Polly and her family. We look forward to seeing what she's able to do um, and what she brings to the table for Grimsby Town. Hopefully in a... Uh, a much more positive feeling as what there is at the moment around the club. Um, so, like I said, welcome to Polly. She'll be here at the end of the season, beginning of next. So, uh, good luck uh, in her new role. Uh, what I just mentioned there is about feeling around the club at the moment. Um, well, something else did happen today, which for some reason... Um, got fans a little bit up in arms I, I, I would say I was a bit surprised by the social media backlash that this got um, Alex Hunt as of course he has left the Mariners 
he has joined York City on loan until the end of the season. Um, and uh, it just obviously Alex has been here for two years. He joined in 2022. He made 25 appearances last season. Um, and he was part of the FA Cup uh, game against Slough, where Grimsby went on to win 7 2. In the Emirates FA Cup at Bundle Park, he now joins fellow Mariner Danny Amos on loan at the York Community Stadium. And uh, would like to, I would like to wish um, Alex Hunt uh, well at, uh, at York City. I just want to go into this a little bit more, though. Uh, like I said, the, the social media backlash to this. Um, I, I've applied to uh, uh, somebody who, who somebody put, it was Bruce Fenwick, who is part of the DN35 uh, podcast. He, he, put, he put on uh, X, he said, meltdown. And... He was absolutely correct. There, there was a meltdown over this. But I have a theory on to where this is coming from. I, I don't believe it's got anything to do with it being Alex Hunt. I think this is... This is blind panic by uh, the Grimsby Town supporters. Um, there's obvious people saying, you know... It, Players always look like they're playing well when they're not playing, which I agree. This is a loan that I I haven't agreed with many decisions in the last two to three weeks or, or last month, I would say. This one, I'm 100% behind. Um, this is one that I, 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 don't get, I don't get the backlash on. Um, and I think a lot of it is brought on through, I, I believe it's panic. By the supporters, it's panic. Um, it's fear of going down. If this loan had happened and we were 15th, 16th comfortable, there wouldn't be the, the issue. My my. My thought of, and if any of you fans disagree with me, and uh, it's not that, um, I, I do believe the fan backlash is down to where we are in the league. It's nothing to do with Alex. It's nothing to do with the the club's decision to send him on loan. Um, but this doesn't surprise me. Um I was surprised this wasn't done in January. Um, Alex, it, I, I, I'll, 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 I'll be honest. It hasn't worked, has it? Um, for Alex here at Grimsby, to be honest. It hasn't worked. Um, two managers can't be wrong, can they? Um, something is not right with... Alex Hunt, whether he's been happy here for a while or or what, something isn't isn't right, and it's a deal that I think is good for both parties. I think this is good for Grimsby in the long run. I also think it's going to be a good move for York and a good move for Alex. Hopefully, Alex uh, does get some game time at York City. Um, so to me, I have no issue with this, with this departure. In fact, I'm one hundred. I'll even say one hundred and ten percent behind the departure. I think this needed to happen. Um, yes, it does leave us light in in some regard, um, but I would rather Alex go and get games elsewhere than sit on the bench for his sake or you know uh, just he's obviously not fancied by David Artel they all go about what he said at the beginning uh, when he first came in um, 
this is probably the best movies made in the last month. Now, fans are going to disagree with me. They're going to go, no, it's not. We need No, it is. Because let's be honest, like I've said, if we were mid-table, if we were 14th, 15th, and it, it came out that Alex had joined a club on loan, no one would have batted an eyelid. I believe this is a it was a knee-jerk reaction by the supporters. And do leave your comments down below on this and debate with me. I honestly have no issue with this. And I, I will not have an issue with this. Uh, I think in the long run it will work for, for all parties. I just think it's panic. It's, it's panic by the supporters. It's non-league panic. Um, and that's all it is. So good luck to Alex on loan at York City. Hopefully he goes and gets some games. I may even watch a couple of uh, National League games. I think you've got a couple coming up. So, um, you know, I'm sure I'll watch uh, a little bit of National League in the in the running as well as our running, which is obviously most important, and see what happens. But no, that, that's, um, that's a departure that I thought really was going to happen a month ago. Um, so... I understand people are upset, obviously frustrated because of where we are in the league and maybe the strength in the middle of the park is not the best, but I, someone said most creative player. I've got to be honest, I did see a few other people say this, which I agree with, what really has Alex Hunt done, really since the goal against Barnet last season? Nothing really, um, and when he's coming, he's only sort of been in, um, not even two or three games running, and then he's out the team again. It, it, it this is probably the most uh, disappointing uh, long-term signing that Town have actually made uh, since we've been giving long-term deals out. It just hasn't worked. And I think we have to, uh, e even though I'm not really on Artel's side right now, I agree with him on this one. So, two bits of uh, news. A great bit of news about the new CEO. And I'm not going to call it disappointing news. I'm going to say that's good news. And I wouldn't even call it surprising news. Alex Hunt joins York City on loan for the remainder of the season. Um, leave your comments down below. What do you think about the new CEO? Are you happy with the new CEO? Um, uh, when Polly takes over the takes over the reins from Debbie Cook, and obviously you guys' opinion on Alex Hunt. Um, do you think it was the wrong move? Or are you like me, where fans think it's the wrong move because of where we are in the league? Would any fans really be that annoyed had we been mid-table? Had we been 15th or 16th, clear of the bottom? I don't think anybody would have had a problem with this happening. Now, will there be someone coming in as a free agent? Who knows? But... I think it is mainly just non-league fear with Alex. So let me know down below what you guys think of these two bits of news. The new CEO, Alex Hunt, goes on loan to York for the remainder of the season. Good luck to Alex. Hopefully it works out there. Uh, do uh, leave your thoughts for me down below. Any questions you have for me as well, do leave them down below. And um, the preview for... The game at the weekend is coming against Morecambe. So that'll be coming up very, 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 very soon. Uh, do like, do share, do subscribe, do all that good stuff. And also, any of my non-league subscribers. Um, I will be from next week um, doing um, uh, weekly National League previews for the rest of the season as well. So, 
and the National League subscribers, your league is going to get covered again. But likewise for the for the Grimsby supporters, keep leaving me your comments. I'm loving the amount of um, of feedback that we're getting in comments. I'm getting. I'm trying to reply to as many of you as I possibly can. And we're on the road to 200. Uh, I just want to say this as well. I'm on the road to 200 subscribers. On I'm at 190 already. I want to thank every single one of you that have actually subscribed. Um, whether you're a Grimsby Town supporter, whether you're a non-league follower, uh, and whether you're just friends of mine, I, I really, really appreciate it hopefully we can get to 200 in the next couple of weeks and push on from there making this uh, channel stronger and so I can deliver better videos for you and obviously um, keep following the Mariners journey so thank you very much for your support at the moment do hit that like button hit the subscribe button for me and all that good stuff and I will see you with a Morecambe preview that's coming very, very soon. Until then, I'll see you soon. Bye-bye.